Time to live, joy, travel. Today we are bringing you another Santorini video. Can't wait to show you one of my favorite cities here in Santorini, Mira, and the black sand beaches of Perisa. So now a lot of people choose Ia and think that Ia is much better. However, I am here to show you why I prefer Mira. So come with me today and let's go see some beautiful sights. Light me up, don't you stop. Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride One of the reasons I love Fida is the views. As you can tell behind me, it's not as crowded as its sister city, Ia. And you get even better views, guys. We keep moving on. Another reason why I like it is because the streets are actually not as slippery as the ones in Ia. And you guys are probably wondering, are there domes here or churches? Yes, there's domes and churches galore here too. Another thing that I would recommend here in Fida is the cathedral. So now I am going to leave the church and I'm going to keep walking through this beautiful city. Port. That port is the oldest one and it takes about 500 and almost 80 steps to make it there and 580 steps to come back. Now there is a way to get down there if you do want to see the old port. You can either take a cable car for 9 euros each way or you can, there is an option for you to take a donkey there and back. However, there have been claims of animal abuse. So I will leave it up to you whether or not you want to take that choice. Now let's continue walking and seeing what else there is to do here. So guys, we've made it to another point here. Not too far from the old port, you're gonna find a lot of shops with souvenirs, which will be priced a little bit better than Ia in beautiful restaurants with views of the caldera and with views of the sea so it's an amazing little town that you can definitely spend a whole day or a half a day it's up to you to the black beaches here in Parisa and that is definitely a must thing to do whenever you find yourself here in Santorini. For us, we like the beach so we try to always stay really close to it so we're only about 30 meters or 100 feet away from it. than the other options in terms of lodging. So you can find quite great deals, including resorts, and you don't have to hike up as much to get to your hotel room. So you will have rooms that are near the beach like mine, where you're about 100 feet away from the beautiful Black Sand Beach. And the vibe overall is really relaxed. Most people take day trips here, but I personally like to do it the other way around. I like to stay here in Parisa and then make my way to the other places such as Ia, Fida, etc. I do want to tell you a couple of things that you can do while you are here in Parisa. One of those things 
is that it's pretty close to FIDA, the transportation hub. So you are gonna have easy access to museums like the Los Atlantis Museum, which is an interactive museum. You're also gonna have hikes that start from this point and take you into the other towns and they are meant to be some of the best literally the best hikes that you will do and some of the best views now guys if you're wondering why the sand is black or why is it called a black beach well guys the sand that formed here actually has its origin in volcanic rock so that is what gives it the color that you see on your screen right now and I find it really nice. This is actually one of two here in Santorini. There's another black beach. Unfortunately, I won't be able to show you that one during this trip. So hey guys, that was quite a walk, but I have finally set up shop here in the middle of the beach. And I picked the closest one to a cliff right over there. And on the other side, I just have a bunch of other people uh, doing their thing as well. And so that's my plan for today. I do have to tell you guys the sand was incredibly, incredibly hot. Uh, I had my chacos, but the rocks were getting into my sandals, so I decided to walk barefooted for a little bit. And boy, was it hot. Uh, so now I'm just gonna chill here and enjoy the view for a little bit. There's really not much to do here, but it is an excellent, excellent spot to swim and to relax. And for me, y'all, I feel so relieved to not be on the crowds that Ia had before sunset. That was crazy. So, but let me go ahead and rest and I'll be back with you guys. been a great great relaxation time at the beach and now I'm gonna head out to the pool here at the hotel to finish laying out with guys that is gonna close out the vlog for today because I have a feeling I'm gonna take a nap read a little bit and get ready to leave Santorini tomorrow and hang on because I have another place that's gonna blow your mind so there are more videos coming up on that but that's it for today guys thanks for coming in with me today on a walkthrough and in a such relaxed type of day and if you like this video please make sure to subscribe like and don't forget to click the bell and i'll see you guys next time thanks so much bye